Hello there, and welcome back to episode 9 of my island gameplay series for Factory Town. I'm Icon, and we're going to discover today the tech level 6, so I actually left that open for, for the sake of records. And the other thing that I want to put up today is I want to increase my red coin income, because that's basically my biggest uh, deficiency right now. So, the idea that I have for that one is quite simple. Let's pick up a general store here. And I figured that if I'd be setting up a general store roughly at this spot, it would cover all the new houses we have. And if I'll remove the water here, it's going to be all I need to build stuff. So, that's what I have in mind. The long term plan that I got right now is that. I want to produce the higher tier research books because I realize that the tier one books that I'm producing right now are hardly satisfying the the research, the research point costs that we're up against now. So we're going to unveil the new tech in a sec. Just wanted to get that water thing got, uh, done while I was talking about it. So we now got a lot more room to work with and it didn't even cost too many red coins. I really like how how cheap you can pull this off. Oops. No, I did a little bit of a buckle. No, building. Down. Okay, so we got a nice and even uh, patch there. Good. So, what's the new stuff here? Research available mana purification, advanced medicine, and civics level 3. Okay. Mana purification at the Mana Forge. We're definitely going to check that out. That's also going to produce the next uh, type of knowledge tomes. Magical knowledge. And advanced medicine will yield the basis for the tier 2, uh, tier 3 re um, nature tomes. So here's the thing, as you can see here, the engineer, the industry tech points... Th that's pretty uh that those are pretty steep costs like uh and that's just the uh recipe the remaining recipes for tier five and now we're dive starting to dip our toes into tier six and well what do we need to produce mana pipes medical wraps okay that sounds like fun now what can i research here i can research civics already and advanced medicine needs 2,000 uh, nature tech as well. And uh, mana purification needs 1,000 nature research points as well. So we're uh, we're pretty far away from getting the job done there. So that's another reason for me why I want to step into this uh, production here like that. So let's see. I want to check out. Is that... Well, that, that is by all means... Uh, basically the best spot that I can take, huh? Well, I'm going to put it down like this, though. So, this way I got an uh, a accessible area all around the place. Now, the next difficult question is, how the hell are we going to, to connect that with our town center? I literally got no clue, to be quite honest. But uh, we're, we're going to get it done. I know we will. So, I mean, the simplest way would be uh, basically through the field of herbs. Or, we're going to go that way. Or, no, there's not much, uh, there's not many other uh, options there. The only problem here is the conveyor belt. This one I could bridge. So, here are a couple of problems that um, really where I really uh, didn't uh, work too well. So I could break up this one here. That one is really hard to uh, change. I mean, we can't get that done like that. Huh? But another question I'm asking myself is a quite simple one. Can't we do the same thing here? Like I did with the... Uh, Yes, I can. 
So paths can be bridged too. I I had no clue, but I I simply had to try, you know. Okay, wonderful. So we can do this like that, but uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to. Uh, that's a little bit annoying, but yeah, let's do it like that. This is the way to go. All right, not farm tiles, but paths. Here we go. So now this thing is connected. Wonderful. And it's even connected to the last piece of house here, where I had my my doubts if they would be connecting or not. Wonderful. Okay. So things are really cool there. Now we got the general store connected, and now let's see what we can sell here. Planks and stone bricks are very simple products. Stone bricks, though, I can't produce them here because I don't have access to any stone. I don't have access to any of these metal products here either, which is kind of boring. So what I say we want to do, and that's something I totally uh, lost track of, is here. I created this uh, little thing that produces axes. So all we'll need to do now is to uh, get that belted over there. So let's do this. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna terrain. I'm gonna manipulate the terrain here to create a natural bridge. So. Let's see, does this actually suffice? Oh yeah, I no, I, I actually do need to build the uh, foundations myself, otherwise it's going uh, all wonky. Ah, sad. Oh, look at that, there's a big fish. I had no clue that there are such things like fish deposits. So, doesn't that... I need to check that. Interesting. Whatever, not not the thing we're uh, we were uh, thinking about right now. Mm. Well, it does matter a bit because I am about to annihilate these uh, these resource deposits, and I'm feeling a little bit bad about it, but only a little bit because you know space is virtually endless in this game, so getting those new resources together shouldn't be too much of an issue. There we go. Okay. Now, let's just uh, pipe that through that. And now, it's a nice income already. I mean, we won't be producing these axes in insane amounts, but it's going to be a nice start here for, for real. Okay, here is another thing I'm realizing. There's uh, terrain disturbances here, okay. Let's see, here we go, eight red coins per piece. Okay, what can we sell beyond that? I'd say I'll definitely go for some simple products here as well. Because I won't be able to produce anything too uh, complicated. What's an interesting venue here, though, is to see that I can produce all these clothing items. I haven't uh, produced a tailor yet. And we are in a in an area where I could actually produce a nice uh, fair bit of agriculture. We could actually set it up here. Oh yeah, let's do this. It's actually a nice idea. So, technology-wise, I was already pondering a bit about it. So, my research productions right now are pretty puny. And I really am a little bit insecure how I want to pull this off after all. So I mean the industrial books they need they need a book and they need steel. The higher tier of those just need similar products, just basically more refined steel. You know the there's uh, steam pipes made out of raw ore and iron wheels made out of uh, iron bars. So altogether I'm considering to use using this uh, this facility here, but I'm not sure how. But not now. So let's uh, let's continue here. I think 
compare it to the uh, terrain there. We need to go a little bit down here. Okay, that's uh, where I find it very confusing, to be fair. Okay. No, I don't want to do this right now. I'm only making things worse, I feel. Okay, now, the Forester is the, is the first thing that we're going to need. I'm just considering where I'm going to put this up. So, for... Let's see, a farm? Well, we can't work a farm here. So we'd need to uh, put up something else there. Because we can sell the cotton and the cloth and everything else we make out of it. So I'm considering how to put up a nice production chain there that does also get those products in good. Well, okay. We're just going to start now with a forester here and start churning out some wood first. I think this is a good spot here. Let's combine that with a lumber mill. There we go. So we're going to produce some planks here. And let's combine that with a workshop. And we're going to produce some wheels here, you know basic production. By the way, wheels. Is there still this uh, poor sod running around and transporting wheels? Or have I stopped this madness all already? I've stopped this madness, madness quite a while ago. So the town center here is something that I really need to uh, rework as well soon, because there's a lot of madness going on there that actually doesn't make too much sense anymore. And it's it doesn't really matter to me you know but at the same time it is just uh well necessary to to use the room like that you know? here i'm just using the same belt because you know we're far away from using the entire capacity of that thing why should i bother building another uh conveyor belt that was the big lesson that I learned out of this madness up here. It's a neat madness, though. Okay, so we got the basics down, and I'd love to sell some planks on the side, so I'll do. And we're going to achieve that by just cranking up the worker amount here by a lot, and we're going to put some planks on the, on the belt as well, you know, why not? We're just going to go crazy with the worker amount here, and I'm pretty sure that this will allow me to uh, sell away some of that easily. There we go. Because there's no reason not to sell away planks, I think. So yeah, we're selling these now too. It's almost no yield, I know, but it's almost no effort to set it up either. Okay, so now, now we got that. Now to the next point, cloth. I mean, I already got a huge cloth farming venue here, and I might be inclined to just increase on that. I mean, the other option would be livestock and go with leather. I mean, leather is worth a lot. So we could go for that one as well. Hmm. But there's one thing that I want to do all the time already, and that's building a tailor's shop. I haven't built one yet, so let's see. Shirt, cloak. So the tailor does uh, work around with basically all of these items that... So it's working around cloth, and, no, cotton and and leather. So ideally I'd be producing both. So here's the next question. What does a food mill what does a food mill produce? Yeah. Wish those apples could have been transformed into into animal feed, but we're not gonna get away with that with it that easily, sadly. That would be really cool. But whatever, we can't change it right now. So, research-wise, well, I could and shouldn't research the steam engine, huh? 
Let's go for that one. Steam locomotive. So that unlocked a lot of uh, other technologies here. Advanced medicine. But so far, the first thing I'm happy with is that I seem to be providing well for my for my little township here. The only thing I don't like is that I seem to be providing too many planks. So I might need another household or two. Mm. How to squeeze in a few though. I mean, I could go here, but I don't want to. Is this actually... No, it's not. Okay. Oh yeah, let's do this like that. Or, no, I can't. No, can't connect from that one. But I see one other really, really good option. Uh huh. You know, we just uh, we just create terrain. Here's. I know that's bad for the fisher there. But there's always something, I suppose. Oh yeah, there's another problem here. Hmm. Looks like it's uh, barely, barely connected. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, me lucky. So, we obviously, yeah, we obviously are still providing those. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. So, we're, we, we still need more income in that regard. So, the... The decision now is pretty easy. We're going to put up a, a cotton producing menu over here because, you know, there's already cotton here and it uh, fits into the picture quite well. And beyond that, I want to go for... Wait a sec, we don't need that many planks. Let's go for that. Um, and beyond that, I'm going to set up some uh, some farming industry to provide leather as well and then we're going to go for some serious tailoring here that's the plan okay but first things first we're going to need a farm and i'll be setting up that farming oh yeah if i put it there it's all automatically linked to water huh it's pretty good so we're going to do this. Just wondering. Yeah, let's do this like that. And we're going to steal some cotton here. Well, stealing is not entirely the proper way to put it, but you get my idea. Okay, and some farm tiles on top of that. There we go. Out of manure already, but so these fields here are automatically watered no only the ones that are directly connected to to the water tiles or the farm okay so that doesn't really work as easy as they uh, promised me so i'm definitely gonna put up a well here and smuggle in some water because i really think the more, the better. Okay. So this will provide the production for our... I think it's a workshop we're going to need. Wall workshop here. Let's put them down here. And that's going to be cloth production made out of cotton. There we go. So... Cotton? Can we sell cotton directly? Yes, I can. Mm. So it makes me wonder, do I want to do that or not? I want to copy the cotton plants. Uh, okay. Possible, hey. So just uh, filling the vicinity here, because I am considering dropping down another farm here, but no. Actually not. So there, there's the cotton output. So we are going to output a little bit of that like this. 
but at the same time i want to get some of that already to a tailor so a tailor could produce shirts out of that shirts can be transformed into something else later down the production chain so we're definitely going to set that thing up here to try to produce shirts for us there we go all right let's see when the point will be reached that i'll need another uh, belt there but i think it's gonna take a little bit and here the growth process is actually going pretty quickly nice okay so i'll work like that as much as i feel inclined to sell some cotton i'm i'm not gonna not yet at least maybe i'll do that later somewhere else so okay we got these things down now the next question is i want to get those cloaks uh down too We're gonna need some. We're gonna need some leather. So I'm removing some of those resources here, and animal feed will need us to have a farm first that produces the food for that. Let's go for this, and we're going to produce. We're going to produce what? Why can't I select several of these? Ah, oh, it just looks the same, okay. We're gonna be providing grain, okay. Grain. Let's plant that out. And I can already see up there my first uh, cotton is going to be ready soon. Can't already see the first white thingies there. Okay, so we're going to produce that, and the food mill goes directly here. I'm going to produce the, the animal feed there. Of course, as usual, we're going to set up a, a own water supply for this little uh, enterprise. Let's move that accordingly. There we go. Easy. Let's spawn a couple of farm tiles extra. My my storage room for for dung is not that high, you know. Oh, that's why they are not producing. They don't know they have to produce. Whoops. Now that explains a lot to me. They're already wondering why all these uh, white thingies here didn't uh, yield anything yet. Okay, so let's see. First of all, I think this one here should work harder. But this one here should work harder too. Okay. So... I'm probably going to negate the planks at some point. If this, if the room on this uh, belt is getting too full at some point, I think I'm going to leave the planks out. Because all other materials yield more rewards. You see here, cloth has three coins. The shirt even has eight coins. We're, uh, we're bolstering up here our income a lot. Okay, but enough of that. I think I'm going to have the same problem here. No, I don't. So, out goes the food mill. Now we're going to need a pasture. And I'm going to... Can't afford? What happened? Stone. I don't have any stockpiles of regular stone anymore, you say? Outrageous. So, my, my mine is empty. That's the problem. Okay. So we got to move that thingy over here to an area where there's still stone. Okay. And then... These. Now let's see. We're going to be putting it down like 
that. Leave that dude. Oh, that looks uh, pretty crappy here too. So let's. Uh... Oh, okay. So we're gonna be upping the terrain here a bit, huh? Okay, now hold it. these thingies. Let's build it like that. That grabber needs to be configured to stone. There we go. And that one. Oh, Christ. This is, uh... This is a royal mess. I think now we should be better off. Okay. One thing about the game where I feel a little bit annoyed about at times. Alright, so we're going to have to build another bridge then here. Let's see if that works. I mean, I never tried it like that. Going to need a splitter. Let's see if that transports. I mean, it looks crappy as hell, but yeah, just like I thought. Can build an uneven terrain. It says okay. In that regard, I sometimes uh, wish that there there would be a little bit of a uh, less confusing interface here. Okay, so we cut the grass there. And there's lots of diagon diagonal spaces there, so that's... Maybe I can just increase the terrain, or heighten the terrain, but it doesn't look like I can. So this remains... Uh, Problematic until I fix it like Okay, whatever Let's see can I it's Not going to be better at any other point there mm. So it's gonna be way easier to uh, Put the stuff down Are you kidding me? So that workshop is sitting on a very, very, uh, cursed tile. Let's see, does it work like that? No, building is blocked, okay. So... But I think this might be already it. Nope, it's not, okay. So, what's going wrong with this one, actually? Is there, is there really a square, or does it only look less as there would be? So, I mean, at this point I feel as if, oh, it can't, of course, if there's, uh, okay can't take any stone in if there's no room for stone. Sorry for the uh, huge confusion there, but, you know, important things were important. So where were we? Uh, I wanted to build a pasture, right? Okay. So sometimes this game still does things that deeply uh, confuse me, to be quite honest. So we're going to use a recipe for leather. We'll produce dung again, okay? 
so we're needing water here. Fine. Pretty sure that this well can provide for both. And then, let's see. So this workshop here has all the cotton it needs. So basically only needs more workers. And then we're going to produce another tailor. It's going to produce cloaks. I'm not sure if that's going to work out as I want it to. Or, or not. So, well. Yeah, we're going to put it down there. Right so out goes leather. And we're going to build a little bridge here. So I learned out of that chaos that we saw there right a moment ago that before I do build a larger uh, structure, a larger, a larger enterprise of any uh, of any sort, I'll make sure that the terrain is properly prepared before I do. That's because uh, all of that uh, mischief there would have been would have been uh, avoidable if I'd invested the red coin before things were that horrible, you know. And that would have been not that hard. Okay, so altogether we're running out of uh, cloth here to work with, which is kind of tragic. So. Okay. I mean, this will improve. The affinity of these tiles is horrible. A, a maximum affinity tile will yield 50 units of uh, cotton. Right now, it's 14. So, I think in the long run, this facility here will eventually produce money in a uh, fair, fair and square rate. So, there's another thing that I'll be using here. Let's do this like that. There's another cotton farm that I'm setting up. Another workshop that I'm setting up. For cloth, you know. And we're going to uh, support this one from two sides. Because I really don't mind running, running a lot of cloth farms here. And we can upgrade these fields so much still that I think there's going to be a lot of potential here for this place to uh, to get somewhere. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! You are not supposed to work like that. Let's remove that. Uh. Grabber is not supposed to be there. Okay. There we go. So now we produce uh, cloaks as well. And I think this pretty much is a is a wonderful end for today's episode. Just realized that this couldn't work at all. Because I didn't uh, output uh, because I didn't provide cloth <laughs> to begin with lumber. <laughs> Now everything makes sense. I really love how deep production chains in this game feel, and how much you can do for these. Altogether, it's a very, very enjoyable experience, I gotta say. Now, I'll leave it with that, because we definitely should have a decent income of red coin with that for now. I mean, th that's uh, definitely not the end of the line. I could do so much more, I basically just dipped my toes into that. There's still the entirety of metal um, production. Like, I haven't done anything in that regard. But we're producing shirts and cloaks. These yield pretty decent uh, red coin incomes. So, maybe I'll revisit this at some point. And we're going to produce some warm coats as well. Which is basically the, the prestige recipe here. <laughs> I'd want to say so. But altogether, very okay with that. This will last for, this here will will be sustainable for an indefinite amount of time, and it's going to be awesome. So, 
that's that. Next episode, I want to check out how to produce the new books. Because, you know, that's just uh, a logical next step. And let's see what will happen then. I'm really, really enjoying this so far. Next episode, I'm pretty sure we're also going to be capable of researching something new. I don't know, mana purification maybe. And let's see where this will take us. Thank you for watching. Drop your comments down below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.